Hello chaps and welcome to my build update number 4 for the Airfix 124th scale Hawker Typhoon Mark 1B kit number A19002 It's my entry into the Spiffy Tiffy Buddy build that I'm hosting In update number 3 we'd covered the interior wing assemblies In this we're going to cover the exterior surface assemblies First off I got a parcel in the post, big box with a little part inside and it was the missing magazine box and now I can finish off the interior assemblies so on the exterior first I wanted to start with the fuselage halves I got the rudder and the wheel bay um, rear wheel bay parts together fitted those in place there I then moved on to drill in the hole for the oil gauge indicator lens viewing lens, there's the lens in place and after that I wanted to cut out some panels on the wings to show off the fuel tanks so using a fresh blade and a rule to guide the lines there's the port side fuel tank cover and that's the front leading edge fuel tank cover removed that's the larger fuel tank I then stuck the port side upper wing in place and that was followed by the starboard side upper wing and then a couple of views to show how that looks you can see the how the tanks will be exposed there on the finished model I then moved on to assembling some of the cowlings that fit around the radiator air intake area filled some jet pins sanded them down smooth and then back to the fuselage halves I decided to leave the starboard side solid didn't cut out any panels on that but on the port side I chopped out three panels, one to expose areas of the port side and then the port side up a fuselage um, side wall I cut out a section there that I can remove to show the interior of the cockpit and then I've got everything on cocktail sticks, all the exterior parts clean them down with isopropyl alcohol there's all the fuselage parts and the ailerons, flaps, etc., and the doors. Gave all the interior cockpit area, the uh, flaps, and that a grey primer. And then everything that's going to be finished aluminum add a gloss black primer. That's inside the fuselage parts. I then painted the interior fuselage around the cockpit black, toned down with grey then gave some highlights and sealed all the metallic things parts with a uh, gloss varnish all inside there finished with the gloss varnish and then there's all the metallic parts uh, again finished there you can see those three parts that make up the fuselage I then put in the uh, landing light lens on the lower fuselage then fitted the port side fuselage off there you can see how it's all chopped away there to expose all that detail but on the starboard side it's kept solid and that's an overall view showing where we're up to now then it was on to putting the bottom fuselage part in followed by the cannon shrouds I decided to leave the um, starboard side fully intact there they are glued in position but on the port side I chopped them down so that the cannons were exposed there you see the springs there and then next I moved on to assembling the rudder the horizontal stabilizers and elevators there they are fitted and then next was the ailerons and there's the ailerons in place and then it was onto that little magazine box, the one I couldn't fit because of the missing part. Assembled that. Then moved on to drilling out the exhaust holes on the rockets. Then assembling some parts onto cocktail sticks, wheels, the bay doors, struts, magazine box. Gave them a gloss black primer. And then moved on to assembling the fuselage. Air at lower fuselage cowlings around the air intake lower engine there I want to keep that all solid but on the port side I left it chopped to expose all that air 
I then put in temporarily located the front leading edge fuel tank cover and the upper fuse large side panel there temporarily located there then moved on to the port side put in the fuel tank cover there temporarily located and that's a view from the top to show those panels in place so you can get an idea of how it's going to look I then mask the areas that are going to be painted lever on all the cannon bay doors and masked over the cannon shelves and the rods on the oleo struts then gave everything an aluminum metallized finish removed the masking tape to expose the primed areas that are going to be painted tan level and that's the masking removed from the oleo struts and the magazine rack and for the lever I started off with a brown base I then got some tan, put a bit of tan on then toned the tan down with some yellow to give some highlights and then painted, detail painted the cannon box magazine box and then gave everything a clear coat now it was on to masking the wheel hubs I then airbrushed a black toned down with grey for the tyres removed the masking and then brush painted on the aluminum metalized finish for the hubs I then assembled the compass and detail painted that and then it was on to detailing the inside panels of the cockpit interior fuselage walls and sealing them in with a flat clear coat I then fitted that last magazine box to complete that and then it was on to filling, sanding, smoothing down the joints and checking that they, they were good with a marker pen and then used liquid masking film for all the clear lenses that was the landing light, there's the two navigation lights and I started using some damp tissue to mask things that's the rear wheel well I then masked the back of the air intake uh, and then put tape around the wheel struts that were standing up then I temporarily located the wheel bay covers to mask the wheel wells I put tape around the cannon barrels that were exposed and then put tissue in the air intake and then taped off the engine to mask all the engine then temporarily located the cowling covers masked inside the cockpit and then temporarily located all those panels that I'd cut out on the port side and then temporarily located the cannon bay magazine bay doors and then I put some liquid masking on the oil gauge indicator lens there and then that was it she was ready to be cleaned down ready for priming so I did that with isopropyl alcohol there's the bottom side I then fitted those latches there's three latches there, I got two in the open position and one closed then moved on to the rockets, drilled in the holes on the fins and the holes on the brackets there and then all the little parts that were left were cleaned up cleaned the seam lines down and glued them to a couple of pieces of sprue and then put the rockets, the guide rails flaps and all those little parts, cleaned them up, got them on cocktail sticks so they were ready for priming then it was on to masking the canopy and windshield use a brand new exacto blade when you do that and when that was done that was the end of this update everything is now ready for the paint job so that'll be in the next stage update number five that will cover priming painting and decals so thanks for watching guys until update number five tallyo chocks away I'm <laughs> sorry.